Hello, Taurus. Welcome to your solo session for December 1st through 15th. I am Marlo, if you're new, okay? And if you're family, welcome back, my friend. So we're going to go ahead and jump into you guys' cards and see what is popping for the first 15 days of December. And the first card out we have is the Strength card. That is Leo Energy. So coming out of um, November, I was about to say December, coming out of November and into December, it really feels like you guys are tapping into uh, your inner power. You know what I'm saying? But I do feel that there's a, a bit of conflict with this Taurus in the sense that... Um, it's almost like a conscious knowingness that something needs to shift, something needs to change. It's like a conscious awareness this is going to be interesting. Uh, it's a conscious awareness of knowing that you need to step into your power in a particular situation. Okay, my guides are telling me not to say situation. So this, okay. All right. Then. Oh, okay. Okay. That was rude. Anyway. Um, so there's a need for you guys to step into your power, not in reference to a particular situation, even though you guys may be going through a situation, but my guides are literally telling me to say it like, there's a need for you guys to step into your power individually. So, it, okay, that's what it is. All right. I'm a Taurus too. So this is just rude. It's very, it's bothering. I'm trying to get sentences out of my mouth. Okay. Anyway, so. All right. The reason why they're wanting me to say it like this is because even though every Taurus that is watching this is going through, you know, any type of little situation, they want you guys to be empowered to know or be aware, in other words, that it's not the situation you're in that is triggering you to want to tap into this inner strength. It's something that's literally coming from the divine because it's like a divine timing type of thing so the Taurus collective and this is all channel stuff that's coming to me right now um the Taurus collective is in an energy right now or going through like a transition and of course with the entire collective there's like a karmic cycle that's wrapping up prior to us going into 2023 which is a very karmic year by the way so there's like this whole mirroring effect of the karmic lessons of us needing to learn. And of course, if you want to know more about this, um, I'm finishing it up now. It's going to be done probably before the midpoint of December, but I'm putting like a, a little uh, mini course on my website that is preparing everyone for the energy for next year. You know what I'm saying? So keep an eye out for that. But it's like, so that's like the macro karmic cycle that's wrapping up, but the micro cycle that Taurians are in that you need to be aware of is it's not a person, situation, or circumstance in your space, Taurus, that is provoking you to want to step into your power. It's literally like uh, divinely designed for you all to do so now for whatever reason. Typically, when I get messages like this, that's typically because there's something happening astrologically, but most of you guys know all the astrology I do is all intuitive, you know what I'm saying, because I don't have enough brain space for that. But anyway, so it may be something that's transiting in uh, you guys chart or whatever, but um, it's literally like a divine ordination type of thing to where it's time for you guys to step into your power. So what I'm getting from the strength card is more or less there is um, a way you guys have been behaving. If I could encapsulate it, I would just specifically, I, I'm not going to make it too complicated because this child, look, okay, let's just talk about it. So the, the, I don't, y'all, okay, y'all look, Okay, those of y'all who know me and know how messages come in for me, you understand what is happening right now because I am fighting. Because I'm like, I just want to sit down and do my readings. <laughs> like, I just want to do my reading. But I can't ignore this. I was going to say I was going to tap it out at the beginning of 2022, but I am being told to not do that because we, on the network, we found out there's so much more to this. So this is the 36-year cycle that's actually wrapping up uh, for Taurus people uh, it goes back to 1986 
So sorry to interrupt you guys while you're listening to the show, but I wanted to tell you guys about our new partnership with BetterHelp. If you haven't heard of them, it's an online resource in which you can find your very own friendly local neighborhood therapist, no matter where you are in the world. You sign up and within 24 hours, they match you with a therapist that's right for you. And you can talk to your counselor every week via phone or video chat. You can also text them between sessions. If you or someone you know has been considering therapy, get started today with BetterHelp. Now let's get back to the show. And 2013, if I'm not mistaken, um, yeah, 2013. So that's your your three checkpoints. So you have 1986, you have 2013, and then you have 2022. So each one of those years are important. Some of you guys were not born in 86. Some of you guys were alive in 86. Some of you guys were born in 86, you know. So um, things that have transpired since then until now, there's like a full completion. uh, And I, I can't say that this doesn't apply to other signs. I can't say that. I think it it would apply to the collective, but me figuring all of this out, like when I got the aha moment with this, it was with an, another Taurus person who is a woke Taurus, by the way. <laughs> she will not let me live that down. But anyway, but I say all of that to say that this is like a huge cycle, like I'm saying, like literally 36 years, you know what I'm saying? Unless you're just looking at from 2013 until uh, now. And what would behoove you guys, which is all the stuff I'm going to go through in the course, um, is pretty much like you seeing those transition points. And I feel specifically if we were to narrow this down between 2013 until 2022, but I really feel for most of you, we're looking at just 2022, right? It's like you guys kind of existing in this disempowered state, you know what I mean? where it's almost in an awareness of your ability or who you want to be or how you want to live or what you want to do. But it's almost like no matter how hard you tried, you were encapsulated in this box for some reason. It it was very difficult for you to get out of it. So I say all of that to say, in my very wordy Gemini rising way, that coming into December, so for the first two weeks of December, this is the work that you guys are going to be doing. So it's like there's a level of probably inspiration you guys have, like watching this, uh, not saying because you're watching this, but I mean like as you're watching this in your realm of reality, right? It's like there's something going on inside of you to where it's kind of bubbling up to where you feel like you want to take action. But the thing is, is that you need to take ownership of that, like my guides were saying, (laughs) interrupting me and things. But you need to take ownership of that because that's something that's very special and unique to you. Because I feel more or less for it to be said that way, you would like the power that you have available to you would lose its power if you gave credit to a situation or a person outside of you looking at them as if they're the catalyst for this awakening you're about to go through. So what I could infer from that tour is this is just so interesting because the same thing happened with Aries where I was getting buku stuff from one card. But uh, I feel the reason why all of this would be coming out, and this is my hunch, is that whether it's towards the end of December or going into 2023, there's going to be like epic shifts and changes in you guys' life that are going to be very positive, but it's imperative that you're consciously aware that that's coming from you. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is something between you and the universe, because if you, like I said, attributed that to another person or a situation, then you would kind of be repeating the cycle all over again, because you would be thinking if it wasn't for my mom, Or if it wasn't for that heifer cutting me off in traffic, if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be who I am now. And that's not the energy you would want to be coming from. I hope and pray that that makes sense to all my uh, woke Tauruses out there that uh, were in my comments last time. So the next card that we have is the eight of pentacles in the reverse. After that, we have the ace of pentacles in the reverse. That is interesting. Yeah. I have to stop here and I have to say this. Okay. So 
of course, you guys are right next to Aries in the Zodiac. Uh, so that makes sense. So for my uh, Aries Taurus cuspers out there, make sure that you watch Aries because I'm seeing similar uh, energetic elements that I was seeing in their soul session. But because uh, the whole thing I was seeing with Aries was them not acting. Well, no, <laughs> it was them needing to act, them feeling led to act and spirit being in cahoots with them acting, you know, like taking action on something. But the whole key was where are they acting from, right? And I'm feeling something similar for you guys because with this Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, I always look at this card as like sloppy craftsmanship or things slipping through the cracks, right? And with this Ace of Pentacles, of course, this is like a, a delay in uh, receptivity or not being able, uh, something not germinating fruit in so many words. But I feel what's important for you guys here is similar to Aries, it's how it is that you're acting. So that goes back to this whole channeled message you guys just got about this wonderful strength card, right? It's more or less you, you have a choice to either act from your higher self, if we could say it that way, your higher consciousness or from your animalistic, like lower consciousness, right? And if you guys were to act from whatever mindset it is that you are coming into December or as you're watching this reading, right? Like if it's like, it's funny, it's like revenge body would be a good example of this. So somebody screwed you over, right? Like somebody, you know, cheated on you, left you, whatever. And you decide to start working out, going to the gym and you're going to get this revenge body, right? So say, you know, I don't know, by March, you're looking dope as hell, right? That's how you would disempower yourself here and you wouldn't get anything from it, right? Because this would be like the letting things slip through the cracks and it doesn't matter like how well you did it in 3D. It's just the fact that the energy of it was wrong. So if we get real illustrative with this, so if you're trying to get a revenge body, right? Because somebody broke up with you or ghosted you, right? You would be operating in strength in the reverse, right? Which is a disempowered place. So even though you put all of this work in and it would literally like that, I'm saying like if you had abs and all the things, child, right? Even though it would look lit, it's the fact that behind all of that, the energy behind it, because it's coming from a disempowered place, it kind of takes the value away from it. As opposed to if you go into it from an empowered place and it's like you're going to the gym and it wouldn't be a revenge body anymore. It would just be a nice body, right? But you're going to the gym and you're working out because you're doing that for yourself. Then when you get to March and you like banging, right? You have the same amount of power. So it's like the power you went into the gym with proverbially speaking, right? That exists within you. Like the power, I don't know, let's just say it's coming from your sacral chakra, right? So all of that power inside of you that you channeled into your workouts, when you get your finished product, you feel what I'm saying now that would switch these cards here, right? Because now it's like, it's, um, it's like master craftsmanship, if you will, right? And it's a drop in the bucket um, for something that's going to grow into something extremely fruitful for you in the future, right? So if we looked at this time, literally next year, you know what I'm saying? So it's all important of how, like where it is that you're coming from or what's your motivation behind what it is that you're doing. Because overall in the first week of December, it's gonna be very heavy on Taurus's minds, like personal development type of stuff is the energy that I'm getting from this. So whether that's like changing your hairstyle or getting in the gym or going back to school or starting a spiritual practice, starting a business, like whatever the case, a lot of the are just like, you know, working on yourself, creating a self-care routine, whatever the case. A lot of those things are going to be on you guys' minds uh, for the first week of December. But the thing that you want to be conscious of is what's motivating your actions. Because if you're taking part in things in opposition or in response to another person, that's what disempowers this energy that's going to come anyway. Because the energy is coming from spirit. Like I was telling you guys, the cycle is uh, is wrapping up. It's coming full circle. It's going to do that anyway. But you have a choice to whether you utilize this energy from an empowered place or a disempowered place. I hope and pray that that makes sense. Now, the next card that you guys have is actually the first card that Aries had. 
I feel like even if you don't have Aries in your chart, most of you guys I've noticed, which is so ironic, majority of a lot of my uh, subscribers are Aries North nodes. I don't know how all y'all is Aries North nodes, but whatever. But um, a good chunk of you guys are. But even if you don't have it in your chart, I would still go look at uh, Aries. You know what I'm saying? Especially um, if y'all are into, what is that called? The uh, the the astrology from the, the other side of the pond. What is it? What is it? Side real? I don't know. Whatever. But a lot of people who are Tauruses end up being, you know, Aries. And um, I think it's like Eastern astrology. I have no idea, y'all. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, <laughs> but so a lot of people end up being Aries anyway. So whether it's in your chart or not, just go look at it. But anywho, but with this um, Ace of Swords in the reverse coming into the second week of December, I feel that there's like a, a sense of confusion that's going to hit you guys where it's not really knowing how to move forward. But I feel that that's more or less like a protection type of thing, just being honest, because um, it's almost like the universe is really trying to help you out, Taurus, because it, it feels almost like... Um, Better you be confused and unable to move than um, you have clarity and make the wrong decision. That's literally what I just heard in my head. And as I was saying it out of my mouth, I was like, this legit sounds like this is in a book somewhere, but I don't think it is, you know? So, <laughs> but that's literally how it feels. It's better for you. I don't even remember what the hell I just said, to be honest with you. It's how you know when the channel something. But anyway, um, it's better for you to be confused, right? to where you can't move forward than it would be for you to, yeah, it, then it would be for you to move forward in the wrong energy. The next card out we have is the Ace of Cups in the reverse. So it's a level of disappointment here, my wonderful Taurians. Like the whole thing is, dude, um, we're hard headed and we a little slow. I can say that as a Taurus. <laughs> and I, hold on. I'm going to pick this last card and then I'm going to say what it is that I was about to say, because I think um, legit was going to end up happening with this Taurus. A lot of the stuff that I'm saying right now, and then we, we have the tower of the reverse that Scorpio energy. Gotta love it. Okay. Here's the thing. Uh, and then I'm thinking about this too, because Leo is a fixed sign. And so is, uh, so is Scorpio. It may behoove you guys to watch uh, Aquarius's uh, Soul Session too. So here's the thing I'm going to say. Maybe to some Tauruses, maybe, right? This will make sense when you watch this, depending on when you watch it. Like, I don't know if you might be like, you know, a, a late subscriber or something like that. Uh, you just found my channel and you found your way in here towards the middle part of uh, December. But I think when you guys watch this, like for those of you who watch this in the premiere, hi, <laughs> I'm in the chat, you know, for those of you guys who watch it in the premiere, this may not make any sense to you <laughs> whatsoever, right? And the reason for that is because this energy to me looks like something that will make sense in hindsight, right? So my suggestion would be, Taurus, you're watching this now. If it makes sense, great. You know, if it doesn't, come back on the 15th, right before you watch your mid month. And those are available on all the membership platforms as well as Vimeo. But before uh, you watch your mid month, come back and watch this or just watch it again on the 15th of the month or watch it again, um, you know, on the 31st. You know what I'm saying? Of the month or the 30th, whatever, you know, because, you know, it's New Year's Eve and things. But rewatch it later this month and I feel like it's going to make sense because what it is I'm seeing, this is literally something that will make sense in hindsight because for a lot of you guys, I think the only part you would resonate with with this would be this feeling within you where, you know, you're kind of getting the buzz of that new year, new me type of thing. You feel what I'm saying? But all the deeper intricacies of this especially what you guys are coming into in the second week of December, a lot of this isn't going to make sense until later on in the month. And when you look back, it's going to be like, oh, that's what she was talking about. You feel what I'm saying? Because uh, like I was saying to you guys with this whole thing, God, and that's three aces I'm realizing. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, and Ace of Cups are all in the reverse. 
So it's like, there's a new beginning that's coming for you guys. And I can promise you that Taurus, like I can promise you that there's a new beginning that's coming for you guys. That's going to be fruitful to you, you know, in a physical sense. So we're speaking like financially, like mentally stimulating, emotionally stimulating that energy signature is here, but it's not now right? At least not in the first half of December. We'll see in the mid month what happens with that. But um, it's not intended for you guys to have that new beginning now, right? But it's almost like I feel like it's almost like spirits throwing a diversion or something. So and like I was saying, it's better for you to be confused, right? And to be, you know, down on yourself, obsessing about things and all the things and not know how to move forward, because with this tower in the reverse that's coming out up until the 15th, that's how you're averting a disaster, right? So I feel if there was any sense of clarity, like, and God, this is so interesting, it's almost like how I was giving the whole thing of like revenge body and all of the things. It's almost like if you guys weren't so stuck in your head in the first half of this month, right? If you weren't so stuck in your head or focused on the past, beating yourself up and all the things, right? It's almost as if, if you were thinking clearly and feeling, feeling hella empowered, like you would make a less than stellar decision you feel what i'm saying like you would move forward and you would do something like the thing my guys were saying it's like you would go get the revenge body and then that would be karma you'd have to deal with next year and who wants to do that nobody right so it's almost like you guys like almost like there's like a, a whole switch that happened. It's almost like there was clarity coming up until this point, all of a sudden it's just gone, right? And even though something in you is desiring to be in a different like space and to like elevate, it's almost like you just can't get your shit together to do it. But the thing is, is if you did, that would have turned out bad. And that puts you guys into this whole counterintuitive energy I've been getting for all of the signs prior to you guys. Like, I'm telling you, like, even looking at this with all the stuff that it is that I've been talking to my staff about, just like with different downloads and stuff that we're getting, I'm just like, this energy to me is so interesting because it's like a whole little jigsaw puzzle. You know, it's like a, like a conundrum that we're all in, right? So legit, dude the counterintuitive energy for you guys is more or less like it's like allowing yourself to be okay with being confused or feeling stuck you know because it's almost like the best way out is through so it's like you guys like if we were to even call this a baby dark night of the soul y'all if we were to call this a baby dark night of the soul, the best thing for you to do would be to go through this dark tunnel because there's going to be light at the other end. But the fact that the tunnel is dark and it's going to take you longer to get out of it, like that's a blessing and the best thing that could have ever happened to you. And that's why I say it's like, and it's almost kind of like being in a cocoon, if you will, because this is how spirit is protecting you guys. So I feel more or less, it's like how I was saying the difference between the strength card. It's like, if you guys don't resist this baby dark night of the soul, if we would call it that, it's like how you would come out at the end of this would be in your best interest. Even if like I were to use the example of like um, a caterpillar going into the, you know, chrysalis, you know what I'm saying? It's dark in there. It's cramped. You don't know what the heck is happening. And it's inconvenient because you desperately want to get out and move forward. You're confused and don't understand why the hell you're in this thing. But if you would just surrender and go with the flow, it's like what sits on the other side of that is going to be so much more fruitful to you than if you would have broken your way out and you're like a mutant half butterfly, half caterpillar. You know what I'm saying? You got like one wing over here that's like a little bum wing. You know what I'm saying? It would look really creepy. 
So that's kind of like the vibe I'm getting at. I know that's a silly example, but I hope and pray that that's making sense, you know, because it feels the first two weeks of December for my Torians, like up until the 15th, dude, this is like you guys experiencing your ultimate is not. And it's like in order for the strength version of you to be birthed, right? And that's like the is not is paradigm. What I always tell you guys, when you call something into your life, you always have to experience the polar opposite of it first because the universe likes to fill voids. So the polar opposite of what you called in is gonna manifest first the, to create that void to be filled by the thing that you called in. So the whole key is here towards, like you guys know, I always tell you this with the is not is paradigm, is to not get lost in the is not. So if you're confused, embrace your confusion. If you're, you know, depressed and disappointed, embrace your depression and your disappointment. If you're broke, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like embrace your brokenness, you know, if you lost your job, because I can even see this too with the eight of pentacles, if we were to make this really mundane with the eight of pentacles in the reverse, with the ace of pentacles um, in the reverse, this could literally be you making all of these plans of stuff you want to do. And all of a sudden in the first week of December, you freaking lose your job and you're trying to figure out like, well, what, what the fuck, what am I supposed to do now? You know what I'm saying? But it's going to take a lot of faith. And I, I hate when I have to give messages like this because I, I know personally how difficult it is to hear things like this. But literally, dude, it's like, <laughs> this is the best thing that could happen, even though it feels like the worst. It's like, you just have to like, trust the process as difficult as I know that that is. Cause trust me, child, like in life, whether it's now or it's in the past, it's like, I've been in situations like this. I know what this is like. And for someone to say like, oh, you know, I know it just totally feels like your life's going to shit, but just have faith things are gonna work out. You know what I'm saying? But I really feel that you guys fighting it, you know what I'm saying? And, and kind of rushing and trying to find a solution as opposed to allowing the solution to come to you or knowing that this is a process that one needs to go through, if you kind of rush through it in that reactionary revenge body kind of way, you're going to completely miss the lesson. And once again, you're going to have to repeat it next year. And that's not at all what you want, you know? So I can say leaving this here for the first 15 days, if you guys allow yourself to go in transit through this, you know what I'm saying? And not allow yourself to get stressed out and not get caught up in what it is that's not working out. You feel what I'm saying? And why is this making me think about you guys? Some of y'all might need to go back and watch that. I just got an impression of the, the mid-month for Taurus from the end of November. Some of you guys may have to go back and rewatch that because I feel like that's relevant. But anyway, but whatever the case, this is going to work out in your favor. It just doesn't look like it. Now, what is it that you guys are avoiding? That I'm not I'm not seeing what that is, but how it works with me when I'm reading cards intuitively what I'm seeing, it's like it's going to sound weird how I describe it. It's like somewhere between this 8 of pentacles, the ace of pentacles in the reverse, the ace of swords in the reverse and um the ace of cups in the reverse. Like those four cards, what I'm seeing in my third eye is like, it's something bubbling underneath that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, there's more to the story. So it's almost like the two most important cards in you guys' soul session would be the strength and the tower and the reverse. And it's like the transit from the first to the 15th. It may not be fun. It may not be enjoyable, but it's like there's something else going on here that you guys may or may not know about, but it, it's still you being protected. It's almost like there being a storm outside and you being in your chrysalis is what keeps you from getting wet. But it's, it's like, don't fight this protection that you're in because it may not feel comfortable, but the intention of it is to protect you and help you from avoiding a karmic disaster. I hope and pray to God that makes sense. So at the bottom of you guys' deck, yep, we have the fool in the reverse. And ironically, that is Aries energy. Y'all need to go look at Aries reading, child. I need to, I feel like I need to do something with this. I literally think 
and I'm gonna write this down so I don't forget. I legit think, dude, on the network and on Patreon and stuff, I don't know. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a reading just on Aries and Taurus energy. And I even say the same thing for Gemini energy because Gemini energy keeps showing up. My my logic on that is because of it being Sagittarius season and Gemini being Sag's opposite sign. So I think it's just shadow aspects that are showing up. But um, I don't know what this is between Aries and Taurus, but I'm, I'm going to do a reading on that just to see what this is about. But anyway, with the Fool and the Reverse being at the bottom of you guys' deck, and of course, that's in the position of why all of this is happening, right? It's literally like I was telling you, you guys are in a holding pattern because it's not time for a new beginning. But I feel why this message is coming out is because it's important for you guys to not get reckless because... It, if you think about, uh, you know, like bull in a china shop kind of energy, it's like if we feel like we're suppressed or oppressed or backed into a corner or something like that, we're just going to flash out and like fight our way through it. And that's the natural inclination. Totally get it. Right. But I feel that is the absolute worst thing you could possibly do to us. And I'm not saying don't fight. I'm not saying just lay down and take it. It's there's a need to enter flow. And in order to enter flow, there's a need to connect to the divine mind, like your higher consciousness, because this is one of those things like almost like walking by faith and not by sight, because what it is that you're going to see or what's happening outside of you, dude, it doesn't look good, right? Because it's the is not, and that's not the truth. You feel what I'm saying? It's like, this is a, a transiting energy. But if you focus too much on what's happening in 3D, it's like you'll shoot yourself in the foot. So this month above any other months, and I shouldn't say the whole month because we're just talking about two weeks, like these two weeks above any other time, Taurus, which is why, like, I don't know what the hell I said in the soul session uh, mid-month for November. I don't know, but I guess there's something in there for y'all. But above all else, it's imperative for you guys to walk by faith and not by sight for the first 15 days, because whatever it is that this trans transition you guys are going through, you, you're going to have to push through into the spiritual realm to see what's happening there and to trust in that. Because if you were to trust in life, like what you're seeing in 3D, it would totally mislead you and potentially discourage you, right? So you need to know that you know the reason why this fire is bubbling up in you guys, right? Is because you're having a new beginning, but the new beginning is delayed. It's, it's not denied. It's just delayed, right? Because whatever this is, this little cycle, this has to pass by. But it's like, don't let it take you down with it is the best thing that I can say. Like there is a new beginning here. The fool is here. The ace of pentacles is here. The ace of swords, the ace of cups, all of that is here. It's just in the reverse, which means that the energy is blocked. It's delayed, right? But it's supposed to be. So despite what's happening outside of you, don't let that deter you away from this feeling you're feeling within your belly to step into your power, right? Because that's what you're supposed to do. So you just have to trust in yourself, trust in spirit, and not let what transpires within the first two weeks of December to discourage you. Because you have to know that you know that you know that your new beginning is coming. And I hope and pray that that makes sense because I know that this is like a heavy, well, it's not heavy, but it's like, it's this is like a really esoterical, which is not a word, <laughs> kind of uh, message. And it would require a lot of discernment to really, you know what I'm saying, garner what's being said here. But most certainly uh, come back to this later on, you know what I'm saying? Or come join the network and talk to me about this reading because you're probably gonna want to. You know what I'm saying? The link is in the description box below. So anywho, that has been your soul session for December 1st through 15th. Let me know what you think in the comments. I love your freaking face. And as always, I will see you guys sooner than later, my friends. Thank you.